Hi friends, it's Tracy from the Financial Freedom Diary and today we are back to close out the month of February in my every dollar account. We've already closed out my cash envelopes and my sinking funds. So now we're closing out my checking account. Everything that should have gone through has processed. The last thing I always have to wait on is my car insurance. And that always processes on the 28th of the month. Um, in every dollar, you're gonna see my transactions. And this is everything that's for March, not for February. So let's just see. So my income for the month was $5,261.77. And this is my last month contributing 161.14 to my Christmas fund. It's going to lower um, in the month of March because I did revise my sinking funds because I did have a lot of month money going into Christmas and gifts. And um, I needed to make sure I covered my subscriptions because $10 is not enough to not even cover the editing software that I use. And I did take out my quarterly taxes because I did have a small amount of side hustle money, which was $109.50. And so I set aside $27 and 38 cents. And so that's one of the things I'll also do with anything that I earn off of YouTube. I will set 25% of that aside to pay my quarterly tax estimates. I do that off the top. Girl, get the government out of the way. <laughs> I don't play with those folks. Um, and so then my insurance, I'm hoping that someday to get this up. But right now, I'm covering those subscriptions. And then the insurance sinking fund is going to be next. Um, MLGW, that's my utilities. I had estimated um, two, $275, but I actually paid $205. And so that's lower than what I expected. And hopefully, it stays at that rate and doesn't go up towards like $300 again. Um, cell phones my cell phone was 63.81 the total bill is 163 dollars and 81 cents my sons pay 50 dollars a piece and to cover their portion of the cell phone bill internet yeah gotta take care of that because i have been lazy with that and it's 148.32 it's just gradually going up and 990.95 for my rent and so my housing expenses are 27 percent and i'm pointing at the screen like you can see but 27 percent of my income now for my gas, I actually spent $35.18 this month. And that's because I pretty much went to work, went home. And also my sons were on vacation this, about two weeks ago. And so my car wasn't being used as much. And so I got to save on some gas. So yay, I'll take it wherever I can get it. <laughs> and $75 set aside for car maintenance. That's in a cash envelope, along with my groceries, restaurant, and um, household laundry in my pocket money. And I went 65 cents over, and that was in my stickers. So for the month of March, no going over to get my sticker kits. Um, I'm going to have to stay within my range. And so I did put the $20 back, but I spent $80.65. So I'm trying to work on no more overages from this little bucket here even though i only spent 80 because i put back in 20 i don't want to see that anymore um kit savings that's for my sons um this is an old deduction that comes out of my paycheck it's 60 dollars a month per kid that goes automatically into the savings accounts that I created for them when they were still in like high school and middle school. So the money still goes over there. I never stopped it. And um, I guess I feel like I probably never will. And I, it may be mom guilt because I never was able to save up money for them to go to college or do those things that I wanted to do. And so I just let that stay the way it is. They don't ask for it but I still set it aside for them. 
um, editing software. So this cost me $215.88. And that's what I want to make sure my subscriptions can cover the editing software, the PO box, all that stuff like that, that I have. I want to make sure I have enough money set aside for all those things. And I don't have to worry about that coming out of my pay. You know, I have that money set aside. All I have to do is put in that debit card number and boom, it's paid for and it's easier on me. Uh, health insurance, $22.44. You guys know I dropped down a tier in my health insurance at work. I am pretty much healthy. I like to say pretty much healthy. I do have asthma and allergies and stuff like that, but um, nothing else that's really major. My maintenance medication is really for my sinuses and my allergies uh, auto insurance $98.65 runners insurance $23.25 uh $23.25 now i know jb from youtube she has a channel jb and i think her name is janelle um but um she said check out lemonade and so i am going to check that out i know my car and renters insurance all kind of bundled together so i need to make sure that if i do switch what's going to happen to my car insurance and my identity theft uh protection which i do get from my employer is six dollars and 96 cents a month and so this month i paid two thousand four hundred fifty nine dollars and 17 cents to my student loans that's almost that's pretty close to what my balance is but actually 68 uh 68 i think it's 68.9 today because i actually did a paid debt with me video but here are all the transactions that i made for the month so 315 that's my standard payment 1400 was my um debt snowball payment along with 685.39 and 58 44 that's my interest only payment to cover the loans where i my standard payment that they've given me is not enough to cover the interest so i created another payment for that just to make sure i met that and i get maybe a dollar or so off not much not much but you know as long as it's not going up i'm cool because the focus is on one loan and to get that knocked out and this month of march is going to be the loan i ate to me um and so what is the percentage of my student loans to my income so it is 47 percent of my income went to my student loans i am trying to get is i'm going to break 48 49 because my goal is always to pay half of my income to my debt that's my goal keep my living expenses low and so i got to take care of things that are rising on me i got to make sure that um i'm being cost efficient with my utilities and things so there are things that i can do and if you lasted this long i hope you have subscribed if you haven't please consider doing so but thank you guys for sticking out with me and thank you for all your support and your constant encouragement because it is greatly appreciated um, I'm so happy that I'm not in the 70K range. You guys just don't know. I am so happy to be out of that range. Um, because for me, what that represents is my income. My gross income is now higher than my debt. For so long, my debt has been higher than my gross income. And then at some point this year, my debt will be lower than my take home pay i don't know at what point that is i'm going to figure that out because i need to do the math but i'm going to figure that out and i'm so excited so it doesn't feel so ugh, like i can't breathe it finally feels like okay i might be able to breathe just a little bit <laughs> just a little bit but you guys have a super fantastic morning afternoon or evening and i apologize my voice is going out and i will talk to you guys later bye